If you want to know how to plan, lay out, and set up your digital planner, keep on watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalia from Akaihana Art. And if you like videos about illustration, design, mompreneurship, and creative business in general, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you won't miss any of my videos. This is the first video of a two-part series about how to make your own digital planner, step by step. So, let's begin. Either you're selling it or doing it just for yourself, research is the first step you want to do before you design your own digital planner. You can check out other layouts, insert that people offer to your customers, or how much people charge for it. You can go to Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook or even Etsy to do that research. You have to answer one simple question. How is your planner satisfying your customers or your needs? Is it about color or design? Is it about the layout or the insert that you can write on? Or is it about the theme that you're offering your clients? For example, my planner is about pregnancy. I'm currently pregnant with my second child and being pregnant before has helped me to know what a pregnant woman needs to have in hand to write on in the moment that she needed. Write down all the inserts that your planner is going to have from cover to cover. That way you will be consistent with your theme. You will know how many inserts is going to have your planner and you know which page is going to contain the hyperlinks to the rest of the planner. Choose a color palette and two or three fonts. That way you will be consistent from cover to cover. Choose a software to design your planner. Personally, I use a vector base a software. This is very good because you can escalate the squares or the lines you use to fill out your, your entire planner. And um, you can add text from inside the software. Some people use a, an application called BES that does the same thing that Illustrator does. Make sure the software you use to design your planner allows you to export the files in JPEG in 150 dpi that's the resolution i use to export my planner because when i upload it to my shop um that's the best way for the file not to be too heavy that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and question of the day what kind of software would you use to design your planner leave the comment down below i would love to read it if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and spread the love by sharing. If you want to purchase my pregnancy planner, I will leave the link down below so you can go and get it. Have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye.